Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to waves and oscillations. And so far we are discussing about the examples of simple harmonic motion. So we started with spring mass arrangement, then simple pendulum. And then in the previous video we discussed about uh, the flow of rise and fall of liquid in a U-tube. In this video we are going to discuss another example which is the up and down movement of a wooden cylinder which is uh, floating on a liquid kept in a vessel. So simple harmonic motion we know that it is the oscillatory to and fro movement of an object in between two extreme points about a mean or equilibrium position. So this up and down movement of a cylinder in order to understand this, let us say we have a vessel containing a liquid of density rho. In that uh, vessel, we have a wooden cylinder, okay, of mass m, okay. In that, we have a wooden cylinder of mass m, which is submerged such that a portion h of that cylinder is inside the liquid. This is the initial equilibrium position. Now, let's say this wooden cylinder is pushed further by an additional distance y. Okay, by an additional distance y. Let's say this much the additional distance y now here when this wooden cylinder is pushed downwards there will be a restoring force acting on this wooden cylinder which will try to again push it upwards towards the equilibrium position further pushing it upward in this way by the same margin upward by a margin plus y such that this will be the final extreme position then again it will come down to this equilibrium position it will again go to this position again to this position so this will continue this oscillatory motion okay this oscillatory motion is simple harmonic motion so how this happens we'll try to understand it now according to the principle of flotation when an object floats on a liquid of a certain density the weight of the liquid which is displaced by the submerged portion okay the portion which is inside the liquid that is equal to the weight of the body so in this equilibrium position the weight of the cylinder okay the weight of this cylinder is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by this this much portion okay the portion h which is inside so that is given by mg the mass of the cylinder into g that is the weight which is equal to rho which is the volume of the liquid multiplied with cross sectional area a of the cylinder cross sectional area a and h product of a and h which is the depth or the portion of the cylinder the length of the cylinder which is submerged okay that this is equal to the mass of the cylinder okay mass of the cylinder is this much rho a h okay so here volume of the submerged portion is equal to a cross sectional area of the cylinder and h the portion which is inside the liquid and when we multiply rho with it okay rho a h this becomes the mass of the cylinder okay this is the cylinder of the submerged portion volume of the submerged portion so this is the mass of the cylinder okay rho a h into and the weight of the cylinder is just we multiply g this is the weight of the cylinder 
So you clear about this? The according to the principle of flotation, the weight of the object which is submerged is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the submerged portion. So here this is the submerged portion, this much portion which is inside the liquid. So cross sectional area of the cylinder is A. Okay, volume of the submerged portion is product of area and submerged length, immersed length AH. Then density of this liquid is rho. We know mass is equal to volume into density. So mass is equal to volume into density rho AH. Okay, weight is equal to mass into acceleration into gravity. So weight of the cylinder is equal to this rho H into G. Weight of the cylinder is equal to rho A H G. This. Now, the restoring force which acts on this liquid that depends on the extra length to which it is pushed down. The extra length to which it is pushed down from the equilibrium position is y, h plus y. This is the extra portion plus y. So the restoring force which acts on this cylinder which tries to push it upwards, okay, which tries to push it upwards that is equal to the weight of the extra liquid which is displaced okay the weight of the extra liquid which is displaced okay weight of the extra liquid which is displaced okay and that is also in the negative direction in the opposite direction upwards okay so the extra length to which it is submerged is y so the volume of that extra portion is given by cross-sectional area A of the cylinder multiplied with Y. That is the volume of the extra portion, the volume of the extra portion. Then the mass of the extra portion that is equal to rho A Y. That is the mass of the extra portion. Then the weight of the extra liquid which is displaced because of this pushing down by a factor y that is given by rho a y multiplied with g this and that is equal to the restoring force in the negative direction rho a y g so you get the point the restoring force which acts in the opposite direction of this extra displacement y, the factor by which it is pushed down further, because of that the extra volume which is created is cross-sectional area of the cylinder A, which is fixed multiplied with the extra length, this length y, okay, this much portion, let's say the extra length which is this, this much portion, which is extra. Now. Because of that, the volume X which is created is Ay. The mass of this extra liquid which is displaced is given by rho Ay. Weight is equal to simply multiplied with G. So it becomes rho Ayg. The restoring force is in the opposite direction of the displacement. That's why the negative sign. So here, this means the restoring force which is in the opposite direction. That means this will execute simple harmonic motion okay this is the equilibrium position it is pushed downwards and again it will move to this extreme other extreme position then it will come to equilibrium position and will this will go on it's an example of shm so this is the restoring force now the acceleration of the block the acceleration of this block is equal to restoring force by mass of the block okay the mass of the cylinder or this object okay the acceleration so restoring force we all know that is equal to minus rho a y g mass of the cylinder which we calculated here that is equal to uh, 
रो ए एच मास ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज रो ए एच दिस सो हियर रो ए रो ए विल गेट कैंसल्ड आउट सो एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू माइनस जी बाय एच इंटू वाई दिस इज द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द सिलेंडर सो अगेन इफ यू नोटिस हियर द एक्सेलरेशन इज डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द डिसप्लेसमेंट द एक्स्ट्रा डिसप्लेसमेंट बट इन द ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन सो दैट्स वाई दिस मीन्स दैट दिस इज द बेसिस ऑफ एस एच एम मोशन सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन द एक्सेलरेशन इज डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द डिसप्लेसमेंट इंस्टेंटेनियस डिसप्लेसमेंट बट इन द ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द टाइम पीरियड ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द टाइम पीरियड सो फॉर दैट वी नो टाइम पीरियड इज इक्वल टू टू पाय रूट ओवर ऑफ डिसप्लेसमेंट बाय एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस केस द सिलेंडर सो हियर इफ आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट डिसप्लेसमेंट बाय एक्सेलरेशन विच इज वाई बाय ए दिस एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द सिलेंडर दैट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस एच बाय जी ओके हियर ए कम्स टू दिस साइड इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड दिस कोर्स जी बाय एच कोर्स टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बिकम्स एच बाय जी माइनस एच बाय जी सो इफ यू ओनली कंसिडर द मैग्नीट्यूड देन acceleration uh, displacement by acceleration that will be equal to just h by g this so here the time period of this floating cylinder okay let's call it fc time period of this floating cylinder is equal to 2 pi root over of displacement by acceleration which is equal to h by g okay time period of the floating cylinder is 2 pi root over of h by g and frequency of this floating cylinder is simply the reciprocal of the time period which is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over of g by h this so always understand from the start the cylinder of mass m cross sectional area a is submerged to a portion h length h in a liquid of density rho the weight of the cylinder is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced or the portion which it is submerged that is equal to rho a h volume of the liquid displaced cross sectional area into h which is submerged a h then we multiplied the density of the liquid to calculate the mass and that is equal to rho ah that finished then it is pushed further by length y extra length y because of this the weight of the extra liquid which is displaced that produces a restoring force in the opposite direction that is equal to the weight of the extra liquid displaced the weight of the extra liquid displaced is given by the volume extra volume ay multiplied with again the density rho ay mm -hmm. then it is again multiplied with the acceleration due to gravity g and that gave us the restoring force negative sign because of the opposite direction now in order to find out the acceleration of the block we have to do this restoring force by mass of the cylinder which is minus rho ay g by rho h rho rho got cancelled and we got this so now we calculated displacement by acceleration ratio to calculate the time period and we got this so this oscillatory motion goes on and on and on equilibrium position pushed downward then again it is pushed upward because of the restoring force again it will go to this position equilibrium again downward again upward so this is a oscillatory to and fro movement about this equilibrium position okay so here we have discussed the floating cylinder example of simple harmonic motion 
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज़ रिलेटेड टू इंजीनियरिंग साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैव ए ग्रेट डे थैंक यू वेरी मच